Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Ransom and today we're back with a brand new video. And this one is going to be about Emre Yilmaz, his 442 custom tactics. Yes, this is made for pretty much everyone because 442 is a very balanced formation. So before we get into that, please don't forget to like this video. Leave down in the comment section below. What do you think of Emre Yilmaz's tactics? Did it work for you? Did it not? And don't forget to subscribe. And like always, Sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, but before we get into that, we're going through his team real quickly. He's got Donnarumma in goal, a red a champions version, which is always nice to get. Hakimi, um, what is it? Phenomenon's card, pretty good right back. Flashback, Sergio Ramos, one of the best center backs I think I've ever seen in a FIFA edition, especially for the value that he offered. Lucio, very good. Um, and you see all these loan cards, Cup de Vila here, for example. You are allowed to use loan cards in uh, FIFA Competitive um, from this year on. It's the first year, but um, yeah. Yaya Toure, no brainer. Very good, very balanced CDM, and then, well, best version of Mbappe apart from his Team of the Year version because you're only allowed to use free icons or free Team of the Year versions. So we went with Ronaldinho, unfortunately didn't get the team of the year version of him. Um, Khalid and obviously the main man, R9 Prime. Um, a very good team obviously, but you want to be looking at four attackers. Ginola, not to, to not forget the uh, uh, most recent version of him. You're gonna need a balanced midfield that can do pretty much all. Khalid and Yaya, they can score, they can defend, they're very tall. Um, that is the most important and you just want to have four very good attackers, especially they're uh, very fast. Um, the middle strikers just need to be good finishers and skill moves are always nice to have. The tactics then, balanced on defense, the width on 45 and the depth on 65. Pretty balanced, not too extreme. We're not using like 71 depth or anything. Just keeping it pretty balanced and that's the key of this formation. The balance itself just works perfectly on this game. Direct passing, 60 width, players in box on five, one, one on corners and free kicks, and that's really it. The instructions are nothing specific either, but just the way that the driven passes play out in this game makes the 4-4-2 beautiful. You can use any mechanic in here, German crosses, um, uh, Trevelas, finesses, because we're just using the fullback on stay back while attacking on the right hand side. But if we look at the left hand side, we got Cap de Villa, in which we're also using a stay back while attacking. And you don't see that quite often anymore in a lot of tactics, I think. Um, but it's just the balance, the structure, that the way the 4 for 2 is shaped up is offering plenty enough of uh, ways to attack. Come back on defense, on the uh, left mid, and just stay back while attacking and cover center, on the central center mids. And the reason why this formation is really good is because it counters pretty much every other formation that is using this fullback on balance because we have two players on the wing. The strikers don't just get in behind and come back on defense. Trust me guys, this formation is kind of forgotten in the meta right now, but the way that Emre Yilmaz plays it, plays it out perfectly. Try it out yourselves, see you in the next one.